Luke, welcome to the show. Welcome back to the show. Yes, thank Last you Last time you so came much. on, you were talking about your album. Bloody yes, that's remember? right. I was on, uh, was a year Before, ago? Yeah, about long, a year ago, yeah. 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 Uh, you were on uh, Lorraine yesterday. Let's just cut to the chase here. You know, mm. why Why do heavy lifting when there's none required? Um, let's harvest the best bits of the Lorraine interview first <laughs> yesterday and then we'll get on to the questions we've got. Why not? You know why I mean? not? I you got mean, into some good stuff with Lorraine. Yeah, she doesn't mind, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, no, it was great. We, um, Me and Penelope Wilton, uh, who plays the Queen Mother, we took uh, the two star sh- star pets of the show, uh, Tring and Pumpkin, the two corgis that, are, that star in our show. <laughs> one was very well behaved. The other one that I had was a little less uh, comfortable sitting on my lap for seven and a half minutes. Right. That's telly time Which for is you, worrying. It? <laughs> um, yeah, it is worrying, isn't it? So backstairsbilly.com. The dogs, corgis, they, they they went to Lorraine with you. That's a nice thing to take. That's that's going to liven up the interview. The Lorraine viewers are going to love that. That's going to get you a t- few tickets sold. Yes, I hope um, so. From Friday, 27th of October to Saturday, the 27th of Jan. Have previews begun yet? No, we start previews on the 27th of October. Oh, so that is... So not that's long. Okay, so that's not only now, that's previews time. Yes, previews. How, how are you? How is it heading to previews this? Play? Good. Today we are doing a run of the play, first time. Right. Yeah. Is that fun? In, in costume. Okay. You know, you get to a point, because obviously it's, 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 it's partly comedy... Partly, sort of, it's very, there's a lot of nuance and some very touching moments in the, so in the play. It's got heart. It's got heart. It's got real heart, and you really do see these two characters and how you know they come from very different walks of life. But you see the Queen Mother in Technicolor, not just in shades, pastel shades. You know, she really has a personality and a humour. And then this long-standing connection she has with Billy, who was you know her her butler, but became the page of the backstairs, where hence the title Backstairs Billy, yeah. and. Um, you get to a point where you just want to put it in front of people. You want to start to see what works, the timing, what's funny, what's not funny, where there may be a laugh that you may have to hold off the line until you can say it when the, hopefully people will laugh, obviously. Um, so, yes, it's exciting today because we're going to put the costumes on and, you know. I have feel... you met any real butlers? I have. Because yes. for this or anyway? In. No, he, he came in a couple of days ago and I thought it was a little insensitive of the production to bring him in five weeks after we'd started rehearsals. Because I thought, if he tells me I'm doing everything wrong, yeah, I have to now. go back to this bit late now. <laughs> um, but he he was very complimentary. Um, I have met the Royals several times, so right. I have sort of I sort of have seen how the staff work. It's and, not and what people might think. It it's not how not, people might think, no, is it? And it's very detailed and quite specific to whoever they're looking after. Yeah. And obviously, but Billy with the Queen Mother was very specific. And obviously, as you can imagine, like we meet them in the play in 1979. She was 79 and he was 44, my actual age. And he'd been working for them for no, nearly 30 years at yeah. this point. So, yeah. you know, the private existence of these two people when there was no one else around, nobody really knows. But you, you have to have a sense that it was very relaxed very there was a, obviously a line between yeah. servant and and royal but um they were extremely close and they relied on each other in some beautiful ways yeah it's such an intriguing relationship or or type of relationship isn't it because you know i've been around the royals as well I've been around other people that have butlers um it is intimate it's detailed it's respectful both ways which it has to be um but also they know their place mm. and because of all that, it's quite relaxed. Yes, yet it is. It is. It, it is. The, the, it, as soon as everybody knows where they where they are, you know, there's a place for everyone and everyone a place, yeah. and you don't overstep. You don't. You know, it all works, and 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 that's how it it does work with with um, staff in the royal family. I mean, they often they often live their whole spend years yeah. working for the same person. I mean, Billy spent work started at 15 years old. Can yeah. you imagine? For the Queen Mother, and was with her till she died, fifty just under fifty years later. It was a time, you know, life was the London, the UK was in a huge change. I mean, mm. Thatcher was coming into power. There was protests and unions, and you know, outside of Clarence House, there was a lot going on. There was yeah. a lot of change happening. Yeah, inside Clarence House. Nothing changed. Wow. Time stopped. Interest. That's what a great way. I'm so glad you put it like that. That's, that's made, giving me goosebumps. Yeah, come. Oh, Everybody wow. needs to come and see this it. This is cool, man. <laughs> Thank you. And this was the first thing you appeared in. When was it? How did it feel? What was life like then? What was the world like then? What was Soho like then? It was year 2000. Yeah. Um, and I had, I left school three months early in my third year to go and play the juvenile lead in a musical written by Dana Broccoli, who happened to be the mother of... 
Barbara Broccoli, who the Broccoli family, the Bond people, and it was about La Cava. <laughs> It was about La Cava, and uh, we, uh, it's, a, it's a story about this woman called Florinda who fell in love with the King of Spain, and big sweeping musical that Dana had discovered when she was on location scouting with Cubby for Chitty Chitty Bang Bang in the south of Spain. Oh, what a story. That was my first show, yeah. I, I, I saw in the new year as a 21-year-old on the West End stage. And now that was over half your life ago. <laughs> Thank you. But it doesn't seem it, though. <laughs> it really does. Does it, actually? To me, I feel like I've had three lives. I've had the Welsh life. Right. I've had the London musical theatre life. Yeah. And then 15 years ago, I had this bizarre thing that happened, and I ended up doing movies and television, which had never been part of my life prior to that. Yeah, yeah. And, and, that, and that feels like a different life altogether. The most intriguing butler that I ever met was I went to buy a car from somebody who had a butler. And his butler showed me the car, and it was in a basement in Kensington in 1992. And um, I said, "Are you, are you a re like, are you a real butler?" And they said, "Yeah." He, he said, "Yes, I am, sir. You might, you should consider getting one." And I went, "Well, I came for a car." And he went, "Well, you might want to consider a butler." And I said, well, "What do you do?" He said, "Well, I, I do everything." He did the book, the book work, bookkeeping. Mm -hmm. the, Pressing of the trousers, the management of the house, you know, and a good butler is like a super PA. Yeah. And other things as well. He's ex military, many of them are. They all, most of them are, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So reliable and so upstanding and yeah. so wonderful. And there's a butler school, isn't there? The, the, yes, and I th but a lot of them, you know, with the, the butler, with the, the, well, he's not a butler anymore, but for 25 years he worked for, for the royal family. He says, uh, when you first start very, very young, there's no sort of script or there's no rule book. You yeah. just sort of learn on the, on the job. And it depends whose butler you are. Yes, and if they're nice yeah. or if they're not. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of terror in those few first few months when yeah. you start working and all of a sudden you walk into a room and you there's the royal family, you know, and yeah. how do you... You know, there's there's certain ways to bow, and there's certain ways you hands always have to be the, by, the, by your side. I've been doing this with my hands the whole time, but then I realised that Billy broke that protocol. And we, I looked up all these photographs of Billy, and he he holds his hands in front of him when actually it's supposed to be to his side. Yeah. So I found these little little details rebellious of rebellious yes nuances. Yes, he was in he you know he he did things that others didn't you know um, very small little details like yeah. that I'm trying to put into the character. I th the butlers now British butlers in America. You know, I know of one butler who's on $250,000 a year. Wow. So it's this, it's this, wow. the upstairs-downstairs divide isn't what it was. Don't tell my assistant that. <laughs> Hopefully the radio's not on in the car. Hopefully it is. Uh, it's great to see you again, Luke. You too. You always bring... You, you must eat rainbows because you only ever bring joy in here. It's, it's great.